So how does it work? How do clinical trials advance MPN research and, and treatment? Well, um, there are multiple stages of clinical trials. Um, one needs to have some rationale for testing a specific drug in, in patients. You just can't say, I just want to take something off the shelf and see if it works for myeloproliferative neoplasms. There can be different ways that things sort of enter into clinical trials, either preclinical data from in vitro, meaning in the lab, in the liquid media with cells that makes uh, somebody um, think that it might work in humans or that it works in a similar disease to myeloproliferative neoplasm. So it's, it's a little bit of a stretch, but a very rational stretch to then testing and tested in a new population. Um, first and foremost, safety needs to be evaluated because as physicians, we are one of our primary objectives is to do no harm to patients. Um, so at very early stages of clinical trials, the primary objective is to see what the appropriate dose is, what's tolerated, what the side effect profile is. Um, and then moving on to efficacy. So it's maybe it's tolerated, but does it have does it actually work? Um, that's the next stage of clinical trial. And then a much larger clinical trial would be to do a head-to-head -head comparison between, in, in most cases, standard of care um, versus drug X. Um, and I think for clinical trials, in particular for myeloproliferative neoplasm, it's very important to understand what the stated uh, primary endpoint is in particular for myelofibrosis patients, that myelofibrosis patients may have different problems. Some myelofibrosis patients, their primary issue may be anemia. And so if they're looking for a clinical trial to address their anemia, they would probably want to be looking for one whose primary endpoint is transfusion, freedom from transfusions or improvement of anemia, um, not necessarily, you know, there was another trial that's primarily looked at spleen reduction, but they didn't have it in the large spleen. You know, that would necessarily wouldn't be appropriate for the patient. Um, so I think it is particularly important in myeloproliferative neoplasm to identify what the primary endpoint is and whether what you're going for is that primary endpoint. Mm -hmm. Any advances that are, are uh, being done in MPN research require MPN patients to participate in clinical trials, right? Of course. But what if they don't? Why is it crucial that patients participate in trials? I uh, Because uh, without participation in clinical trials, we are not going to further our understanding of, of myeloproliferative neoplasms. Many of the drugs that we use today in myeloproliferative neoplasms, as well as other diseases, the reason why we use them today is because people 10, 20 years ago participated in a clinical trial and demonstrated a, a benefit of, of these medications. Um, so if people don't participate, we're not gonna have new drugs for myeloproliferative neoplasm.